Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Greg Bridges with Trading the Pips. So today I decided to go ahead and do a um, a quick video on USDCHF. Right now in front of you is my USDCHF chart. This is actually a weekly chart, and we're gonna um we're gonna push it to a daily chart. Um, so this is what you see uh, in front of you. I'm actually moving um, everything up a bit, and um, so what you see is pretty much from um, July or June to right now, right to today's um, um, date, right. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do? Actually, I'm gonna click it back on the weekly chart because I want a bigger view of what's what's going on. So we'll go down, we'll bring it down just a little bit, right? All right, cool. So now we have a, a view of 2019. I actually own it to 2018. So basically, what I'm gonna do for you guys today is I'm gonna set up my support and resistance like a, basically a naked eye support and resistance. So you can actually see where the highs are, the lows are for a particular zone, and, uh, and especially for a long term with uh, your support and resistance. Um, and I'm gonna go into uh, trading view um, to actually show you where you can get ideas from other um, authors, um, where they believe the market may go. And we're gonna go and take a look at the forex.com website once again and show you guys where you can actually um, look at where their support resistance uh, areas at. So if I was going by my own naked eye, I would use these tools right here and I would go down and I wanna say, we'll just use um, the horizontal line and it's gonna go straight across and then it's already set to a red, right? So my red would be my resistance line so I'll go ahead and, and put one right there and then I'll put one sometimes it's hard for it to we'll put one right there and I'm gonna move them around um, a little bit right and um, we're gonna put one right here and um, so I'm then gonna click back on this particular tool and I'm gonna adjust so I'll adjust this one right there I'll adjust this one to right here. I will actually bring this one up to around here. And I know most people will say, man, that's kind of tight, but I'm gonna bring, you know, I'll bring it right there. And then I'm gonna bring one right here, right? So I'm gonna click back on here and I'm going to, I can do like that click back up here and then we'll bring it down now these are the areas that I believe that the market could go in and, and we actually can we'll adjust this one um, just because and we'll, we'll bring it down to right there right we'll give it a little bit of space um, so and I'll actually we'll bring it goodness is not take any <laughs> we'll We'll uh we'll give it we'll give it this area right here. We'll just say that. So this is a naked eye resistance. These are naked eye resistance lines. So basically I went in, I put four areas that I believe that the market could hit and then go back down on. So as of right now, I believe that the market could go as high as ninety three zero one six hit that area and possibly go back down. Now, is there a possibility that this thing could go through 93016 and head up to 97243? Yes. And if it does do that and go up to 97243, I believe it can hit that area and then go down. But as you see, we have a couple of weeks where that means it actually could possibly pass through and then withdraw and you know reverse and go back down. So, and then past that, we have 1.001234, and then past that, we have 102.357, right? So these are um, lines that were made in 2019, um, which is almost a year ago, um, um, in terms of um, um, how far back it is, and you can look right here in October, we'll be right around in that range as well, so that is a year back. Um, those are resistance areas. Now we can look at 
our support areas and our support areas are sometimes right where our resistance area is at so if we look right here at this red line that's actually a support area so it can actually stand up around that area and it can be trapped right between that so if we want it to we can turn that into uh, a support so once a person is actually really looking at what's going on we'll start down here and we'll say all right we're gonna click right here we're gonna turn this into green and then we'll do one you know and then we may decide that we may decide that this is the support and the resistance line so we did another one right here um, and we'll just we'll just leave it for those two right now so we'll bring this up and we'll say all right we believe this is a this is a, a support area so right around nine zero two nine one we believe that um, it may hit that area and then it could go back up possibly you know and right around here where we see our our uh, resistance line we'll bring it back down we put a support let's say we put it right around so we put it right around here right because we have yeah yeah we'll put it right around there so you see where it touched right here and then jump back up and then it broke through and it actually formed some type of support right there and it went back up right so we really could say hey we have some some, some support lines in different areas um i would probably um use it as a like a temporary support but i have two areas where i believe hey the market can be supported at and uh and go higher you know um so those are my naked supports now do i always trust my trust my naked supports you know some supports are, are a little clearer than others what i do know is that this area right here is a support in the 90s that's a support i know that for sure for sure right so i can go i can scroll through and i can say man you know can i find any other supports yes this area turned into a support at some point it turned into a support so if we wanted to we can put nine three or a little bit less than nine three as a support it's up to us right or what we can do is we can go over here to forex.com and we can scroll down and we can look at what they have and then we can say all right cool they have three supports and three resistance and we can decide to use their resistance and say hey resistance three is at nine one three seven one and we can go back over here and we can say all right and this is in their daily chart so we would have to switch hours from um from um from weekly daily and then we would do the same thing and then we can always double click we see that and then once again click on forex r3 is nine one three seven one and we'll just type it in nine one three seven one obviously we need to turn that into a zero and then we also if we wanted to we change the visibility to and we actually can leave it on we'll leave it on daily and weekly uh, we'll change the style we actually will um we'll type in we'll just type in r3 we'll put in r3 and uh we'll bring it up so we can see and uh it even showing you know that's going to be at the bottom we'll put it at the top um and then it says it's going to be at the center we can put it on the left and then we'll click on okay so right here you see it says r3 and that's where they say one of their um one of, one of their um resistance areas right they're only going to give you three so what we'll do is we'll delete this one and then we'll double click on here and we'll go here and we'll find what r2 is which is 91148 and we'll go back and then we'll click on coordinates and then we'll go 91148 we'll look at our style and then we'll change that to r2 we'll do the same exact thing top and left and then we'll click on okay and then as you see it can be a little tight but this is our daily chart and we'll actually change it in a minute and then we'll do the same thing on this coordinates 
and then we'll say 9791 and then we'll do the same thing 9791 look at that style we'll go R1 and then we'll do the exact same top left I tend to like doing um um forex.com I like I really like using their uh, support and resistance areas um, I just I really enjoy it um, because it takes a lot of the the work out of me picking areas you know I may I may um, um, end up coming up with uh, I'm trying to move this thing goodness gracious actually is it locked it's not locked so coming up with an issue moving the line all right we'll just double tap <laughs> so click on coordinates once again go back here and we'll say this is support one is going to be a 9211 we'll type in 9211 and uh once again with the style and this time we'll actually change this to uh, we have bottom and we'll say bottom right and we'll change that to s1 and then okay you know so we obviously can open it up a little bit more so you guys can really see what's going on we'll click right here do the same thing um, we'll do right or bottom right change it to s2 and then we'll click on our coordinates do the same exact thing um, 89988 so we'll type that in 89988 and then we'll click on OK so that's where you see um, our support 2 is at and then we'll go over here and we'll do the same thing and make sure we get our, our little crosshairs back double click um, coordinates would be uh, 89631 so we'll go ahead and type that in 89631 we're actually was close click on our style again change it to s3 and a lot of our stuff is already set for us because we kind of click right after the, the other one and then we have three supports we have three resistance these are the support and resistance that we got from forex.com so now you have an areas right or you have areas where you actually can possibly buy it or sell it so if you want to you can say all right i can buy right here 90 0, 2, 1, 1, which is right there it may cut through i can buy again at 89.988 or i can buy again at 89.631 if it cuts through any one of those areas it's a possibility that you're going to see a small um sideways movement let's say if it goes through 71 um s1 and it goes down here to s2 then it's a possibility it may bounce off S2 and find some resistance around S1. That's how it works. No difference if oh this no difference if you if you had went up to 91 or 90791 and you hit this area, you may see it go back down to in, in between this area and this area. Or if it cuts through and starts going up, you may see it stop at the 91 area, 911 area and then it may get stuck between that area and this area and it may use your 90791 as a as a uh, support you know so you have to be real um watchful of the support and resistance areas um but they're pretty much where you can actually um get in at and get out at in terms of your take profits whether you're going to be in a sale or buy so i really do like using um uh, forex.com um um like using their support and resistance and they give you the actual pivot point which is the line between this area so if you go to forex.com and you can see hey the pivot point is 9568 so you can always um actually put in that line and that's going to be right around that area so basically what they're saying is if it goes above that line then they believe is the market has shifted to to become a uh, buy you know if it goes below the market is shifted to be a sell area so um, that's up to you to do your research on learn a little bit about um, but um, so now you see right now I have support and resistance lines set up via 
forex.com i know i talked about this and i talk about it a lot uh, when i do these particular videos but this is what you can do to easily identify areas for yourself and this is really even though it's a it's a it's a daily chart it's more of a short term um it's more of a short term support and resistance areas because i look f to to go long term in forex so these lines are showing a small bit of the movement um where i would be trying to grab uh something in the weekly um or monthly time frame at this point because i want i want long long term effects and even if you look at it your r3 is like 92 your r your s3 is like 88 monthly the highest that they are looking at is like 96 and the lowest is like 87 so you know you have to kind of figure out okay well how far do i think this thing may go so you need to start setting alerts for okay it's going to drop down to 90 something okay i believe it may drop down to 89 or 88 you know it's up to you to figure that thing out long term um that's like a long term look so right now they're already saying hey man at, at the present prices we don't think it's going to go um higher than nine six if it goes higher than nine six then hey we're, we're in a different you know they're going to change their values and stuff anyway um you can always click on um trading view i talked to you guys about that i'm already uh locked in usdchf on forex.com via trading view and uh and it's already um on the technical analysis uh, portion of it one day chart it shows you that it's in a sale mode 17 sales seven neutrals three buys the moving averages show you a strong sale um and the oscillators show you a sale right so three sales six neutrals two buys and you actually can go down and they show you the different moving averages um in the areas that they they want you to sell at values so on and so forth um and the same thing with the oscillators the different types of oscillators as you continue to scroll down you see the pivot points that they have set up via classics fibonacci um and so on and so forth right so they have their support and resistance they have their pivot point and they have their well they have their <laughs> support and resistance you know so um it's up to you to use them um and but they also have uh they have another thing that you can do which is use ideas and ideas is basically the ideas of your peers on the site and what they think um this stock or in this case forex um will go whether it's going to go up it's going to go down go sideways um so you can use those guys so you see right here somebody has um an idea about the four hour chart they believe it's going to go long for the four hour chart so you can click on that and actually see what uh he or she is talking about in this case they tell you about the this the potential demand zone um this is what they're saying uh and basically we're not blowing it up so far they'll tell you hey man get in right here and we believe that it's going to go up to this point right and um you also can, you have your top authors so you can actually go through click on these boom follow this person or wherever you want to follow and see what their ideas are you obviously can just click on it and um and this is this person's thing their reputation is fourteen thousand six hundred eighty eight they have five hundred eighty ideas fifteen thousand likes right 15,005 likes and they got 5,444 followers so 76 of, of that person's stuff is in forex another 11 percent is in cryptocurrency and 14 percent in other so that person really doesn't dibble down in um in the stock market um they have um talk 15 percent of the time about um your usd 12 percent about gbp which is the british pound um they talked about gold and they talked about the usd jpy um so even though they're one of the top people on usd uh chf they're showing you um right here what that person ha has talked about as well and you can just scroll down and uh and see right so they talk about the different triangles the head and shoulders patterns um quite a bit of stuff and they talk about um actually they're talking about the nasdaq wow um talk about gold you know in in uh, usd so on and so forth right so it's up to you to uh find ideas uh that this person is uh putting out there and um and follow you can also go back um and and once again you can scroll down and you see we have somebody else that's on a four-hour chart 
you continue to go down you'll find somebody on a one hour chart that's he or she's idea or his or her idea um you got somebody else that talks about next week will be bullish um and it even shows you how long ago that person put that out that was 11 hours ago this person believes that hey the market is going to hit um an area where you could possibly buy and we believe that it's going to go through um it's different resistance areas and it's, it's going to go up they believe the market is going to go bullish right so it's going to go up in value so you have tons of resources out there to use i like using forex.com that's just what i like to deal with it is a u.s broker i like dealing with them um it's up to you to to pick whatever broker you want but uh make sure you do your research don't just listen to these guys that put the ideas out there and um and do your own research and learn a little bit about um the different stocks i personally believe yes long term this thing is going to go bullish right now we know the u.s economy has some issues we know that we're going through a presidential election um and we know that for a while now the u.s dollar has went down in value versus some of these other countries so versus the euro versus the australian dollar and in many other currencies our value has went down in and uh so we know that at some point our value of the dollar is going to go back up which means that um that country's um value um versus our usd is going to go down uh which means money money can be made anyway you guys have a great day hopefully you learned some things uh from me today in reference to our forex um and usd and where i think it may be going and also looking at uh whether or not you guys even want to get into the usd chf area um and making sure that you're putting those support and resistance um on there whether it be a naked support and resistance line or a little bit more detail with forex.com or even going into your um your support and resistance lines uh on um on uh on trading view because they have, they have them as well so it's all up to you make sure you do your research this has been greg bridges on trading the pips and on forex all right have a good day bye